Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's Stamping September video. Today I'm going to make a Christmas card for you using stamps and then at the end of the video I'll show you a few other non-Christmas cards made using the same technique. So if you're not into Christmas then you'll still hopefully find some ideas here. If you've got some square stamps you can skip this next step but if you haven't this is how you can get some. You could use scissors to cut some squares or a craft knife out of craft foam. But I've got some square dies here, so I'm going to use these to create some square stamps. I'll just stick these down to this bit of craft foam so they don't wiggle around. Trim it out and then run it through my die cutting machine. So I've got three square foam shapes there. You can buy ready cut foam shapes, hearts, squares, rectangles, all sorts, and letters. I've seen them in the kids sections of craft shops. So you could use those. But these two have got stitching around the outside, which is fine, just adds a little bit of extra detail. This one's plain, so we've got a bit of variation going on. In my stamping platform, I've got a piece of smooth white cardstock. This is gonna be the panel that goes on the front of my card. And I've got four inks from the Catherine Pula ink collection. I've got Minted, which is a pale green, I think, might be greeny blue. Sea Foam, which is a slightly darker green blue. Cotton Candy, which is a pale pink. And It's a Girl, which is a slightly darker pale pink. And I'm going to place these on here. Like this, tumbling down the left hand side of my panel. This one's going to come off a little bit. And I'm going to add some stick glue down this bit here so that will pick up the stamps. I'm inking these up with cotton candy, the pale pink. And I'm going to give those a good press. Do it a couple of times just to build up a bit of colour and make sure I get all that stitching detail around the outside of these stitched squares. I think this one needs a little bit of extra help, so I'll get my presser tool. Now I'm going to give those a good clean to get that pink off because I want to do green now. So I've masked off the pink squares because I don't want to get green on the pink because when pink and green mix, they make a muddy and neutral colour, which I don't want. So now for Minted, the lightest green. So we've got a nice cascade of squares there. I want to turn these into Christmas presents, you might have guessed already. So I'm going to mask around the edges with my post-it. You could use washi for this. You could use masking paper, whatever works. And now I've got a small three star stamp and I'm going to take It's a Girl the darker pink and stamp that over my present, overlapping the masking so that we get a cut edge. So this is a nice starry pink pattern wrapping paper on this present. So we can take that off and go and do the other two. Oh, I've got a big old fingerprint there. Never mind, we'll deal with that later. So you could definitely do more traditional red and green Christmas colours for this. But I'm not a big fan of the traditional red and green. I find it too bold. So I often go for a pink and a mint.
which finger is it? It's this one. I've made a right old mess of this. I might have to cut this out as a strip and stick it on another bit of card. I wonder if I can. No, it's not going to wipe off. Well, some of it is. We'll see. We'll see if we can rescue this. I don't think we're going to be able to rescue this from my mucky fingerprints because red is a very staining colour and gets right down into the paper. So I will think of a solution and try not to get any more fingerprints on. Right, now for the greens. I'm going to mask off each green again. And then I've got this one, two, three, four little starburst stamp. And I'm going to use, this might take a little bit more masking because of the pink bits overlapping. So I might just do the top half and then flip around and do the bottom half. So sea foams are darkest green. What you could do to reduce some of the masking faffing is to die cut your squares out of your post-it notes and use the outside as a mask and shift that down. That's probably easier than what I'm doing right now. But whatever works. And to rescue this from mucky fingerprints, I'm just trimming it down. Right, I have got my embossing tool here and I'm going to run it all the way around the edge. Just to bevel the edges and to make them look a little bit neater and a bit more finished. And now I've got a card blank with a panel of card on the front. And I'm thinking this here like this is a landscape card. It could go in any orientation. You could have it like that, like that, like that, like that. But I think that. There we go. I think we've saved it. I want to give my little present stamps here a bow. So I've got this bow die. And I'm going to colour some card using the darker of the inks. This one's sea foam. Just need enough to die cut from. And this one's It's a Girl. If you wanted, you could use glittery cardstock or a gold cardstock. So this is a little bit of tacky glue. Don't need an awful lot because I just want to put the middle of the bow in and add it like that. I'm using tacky glue for this rather than matte gel medium because the tackiness of this glue keeps the bows in place while they dry. Matte gel medium, that needs a little bit more ink on it I think. Matte gel medium has the advantage of drying matte so you don't get glossy smears everywhere but it's not tacky in the slightest so things can shift about There we go, so we got some bouncy presents bobbling along at the bottom of the card there. For my sentiment, I have die cut the words Merry Christmas out of black glitter paper because I want something that pops against those colourful presents. So I'll just dip that into some tacky glue, get the back all covered and Put that there. I think I'm going to have it over to the left. I'll press that down with a bit of non-stick paper and I think that will do. All right, I'm pleased with that. I like the presents. I like the sentiment. Do stick around for a couple more minutes because I'll show you some non-Christmas cards that I've made with this same design idea and technique. Right, I'm back and I've got five more cards for you. For this card, I used these butterfly dies to cut butterfly stamps out and I stamped them in a variety of greens. I then used the die to die cut a mask for each of the butterflies and then stuck it on more accurately than that and then used the little stamps that I've got 
to stamp on a darker colour and because it's masked off the stamping stays within the butterfly shape. I also added some starbursts here just to give a bit more movement and I added a have fun stamp in gold embossing powder. Next we've got this happy birthday present so it's just one present with a gold happy birthday and a gold bow on top heat embossed and for this I didn't do stamping for the present the square shape or rectangle rather I masked off an area of my card using washi tape all the way round so four sides and then I took an ink and stenciled it to fill the square rectangle shape so the body of the present was stenciled on instead of stamped but I did use a small heart stamp to add some hearts on top with the washi still in place so that the heart stayed within the border and I really like the simplicity of this one for this card I did stenciling again. I die cut these speech bubbles out of some post-it and then stenciled within the post-it. I then masked off this main speech bubble here and then stenciled and stamped on this one and this one. I added a gold foil cheers so it makes a nice thank you card and a couple of starry sprinkles to add a little bit of extra something. I used the same method for these two hearts. First of all, I die cut a heart from post-it and then I inked within the heart to create a light blue heart. Then I stamped with my starry stamp. Then I took this one off and put this mask here to cover up what I'd already done. Placed that one around about there and inked and stamped. So it looks like this one is behind this one and when that ink was dry I heat embossed on a love you sentiment. So that's very clean and very simple. For my final card I used some balloon dies to die cut out some masks and stencils and I stenciled on the colour. I think that one was It's a Girl with Party Dress on top so stenciled It's a Girl and then stamped Party Dress Stars. And then I did this one, I masked off this and then stenciled this one. And then I kept that mask there and stenciled and stamped that one. I added some grey tails with pebble ink, I think it was, and gold embossed a hooray there. So there you go, six one layer cards made with stamping and a bit of stenciling. If you wanted to make these truly one layer cards, you could omit the panels and stamp and stencil straight on the card blanks. But I think having a panel with just stamping and stenciling on it does count as one layer. Right, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you an idea or two of things you can do with stamps and dies that you already have in your stash. If it has, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, leave a comment and I'll see you back here very soon for another Stamping September video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.